Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. We are doing algebraic expressions, chapter 11, exercise 11c. Exercise 11c, page number 151 and this is question 9. In the old book, it's question 8. So the new book starts with question 9 here. Now, what are the different brackets that we have here? We have the square bracket, we have the bar bracket, the curly bracket and the parenthesis. So according to Bodmer's, the order of brackets, we have to first remove the bar bracket. That means everything else remains the same. So the bar bracket here and the bar bracket here we have to remove. And when we remove brackets, we have to see the sign before the bracket and accordingly do. So let's begin this. So this will be A is equal to, we leave A as it is. A is equal to A minus, again we have A. Now we're going to remove what is within the bar bracket. So that is B plus A. But before that, there is a sign minus. That means the sign of B plus A will change. So that becomes minus B minus A. Then we continue minus and then we have the curly bracket and then we say A minus. We have the common bracket. Now A again and here again we're going to work out what is underneath the bar bracket. Just B minus A. But let's see the sign before that. It's minus. So again B and A the signs will change. So that will become minus B plus A. And then we close the common brackets. Close the curly brackets and close the square brackets. Now what do we have here? We have the square bracket, the curly bracket and the parenthesis. So we need to work out what is within the parenthesis before we remove that. So let's write everything else as it is. So this will be A minus Again, A minus B minus A minus, we're writing everything else as it is A. Now here, let's work out what is within the brackets here. So here we have A plus A, that makes it 2A, isn't it? So this is 2A, let me write it here. So A minus B plus A. So A plus A is 2A. 2A minus B is what we have within the brackets. Now, before the brackets, we have a minus sign. So 2a minus b, the signs will change. And 2a has a plus sign. So that will now become minus 2a plus b, which we will write here. We need to write it here. So then we have removed the parenthesis. So let's write minus 2a plus b here. So minus 2a plus b and then close the brackets. So now what do we have? We have the square bracket and the curly bracket. So now we have to work out what is within the curly bracket. That is A minus 2A plus B. So let's write everything else as it is. So this is A minus A minus B minus A. Now let's work out what is within the curly bracket. So that is A minus 2A plus B. So the like terms are A minus 2A. That is 1 minus 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1, minus 1a or minus a plus b. Now, this is what is within the curly brackets. So this has been worked out and we got minus a plus b. Now look at the sign before that it's minus. That means the sign of these will change. So this will become plus a minus b. So now plus a minus b is what we are going to write here and we'll remove the curly brackets. So let's write that plus a minus b and we've removed the curly brackets. So now we have only these terms inside the square bracket which we need to work out. So we have to work out this. So that will be, we'll write it down here, a minus b minus a plus a minus b. Now let's look at all the a. So here we have a, there's one a here, a minus a. A minus a will get cancelled. Then we only have one a left. So let's write that. So that will be plus a. Now let's look at the b's. Here we have minus b and minus b. That is equal to minus 2b. Okay. So let's write that. So this will be a minus. Now the square brackets have been removed and what we have is this plus a minus 2b. That is simply put that in brackets so that we don't go wrong a minus 2b because of the sign before that. So this will be a. Now because we have a minus sign, change the sign of all the terms inside. So that is minus a plus 2b. 
So here, as you can see, minus a and plus a will get cancelled. So what is finally left is only 2b and this is a final answer. Question 9. Here we have the square bracket, bar bracket, curly bracket and the parenthesis. So we have to open the bar brackets first. So let's underline what we have to work on first. So let's write everything else as it is. So this will be 3x minus 4x. Now what do we have below the bar bracket? We have 3x minus 5y. But look what is there before the bracket. So let's put this like this. So before the bracket we have a minus sign. So we are going to change the sign of all the terms. So this becomes minus 3x plus 5y which we are going to write here. So minus 3x plus 5y. Then we continue minus 3 and then we have curly brackets 2x minus we have the parenthesis 3x. Now we have to again work out what is underneath the bar bracket before we remove it. So let's do that. So what do we have under this? We have 2x minus 3y. Let's write that 2x minus 3y and we have a minus sign before that. That means the sign of all these will change to minus 2x plus 3y. So let's write that here minus 2x plus 3y. Now close all your brackets. So now what are the brackets left? We have the square bracket, the curly bracket and the parenthesis. We have removed the bar bracket. So among these three, we have to now work on the parenthesis according to Bodmus. This is what we need to do next. So let's write everything else as it is. So that will be 3x minus 4x minus 3x plus 5y minus 3 and then the curly brackets 2x. Let's stop with that. Let's take down what is given within the parenthesis and that is 3x minus 2x plus 3y. So here let's work on this 3x minus 2x is simply 1x or x, x plus 3y. Now let's go back to that. So this is what we have worked out and we got x plus 3y. So before you remove the bracket, see the sign, it's minus. That means the sign of all these will change. So let's put it like this. Now change the sign so it becomes minus x minus 3y. So here after we remove these brackets, we got minus x minus 3y which we can write here. So let's write that there. So that is minus x minus 3y. Now close the brackets. Now we only have the square bracket and the curly brackets. So according to Bodmus, we have to remove the curly brackets. That means this is what we are going to work on. So everything else we write as it is. So this is 3x minus 4x minus 3x plus 5y. Now let's wait. Let's work out what is inside this and multiply it with minus 3. So this we are going to work out here separately. So that is 2x minus x minus 3y. Now here we have like terms 2x minus x. 2 minus 1 is 1. So that is 1x or x minus 3y. Now before this. So this we have worked out and we got x minus 3 by before the bracket we have minus 3 into all this. So here it is minus 3 into this. So let's write that minus 3 into this. So we have to multiply minus 3 into x first. So that is minus 3x. Then we have to multiply minus 3 into minus 3y. Minus into minus is plus 3 3s are 9 9y. So now after removing this, we have got minus 3x plus 9y, which we are going to write here. So let's write that. So that is minus 3x plus 9y. Now we have removed the curly bracket. We only have to put back the square bracket. So now we have to work out what is within the square bracket. So here, what do we have? We have 4x minus 3x plus 5y minus 3x plus 9y. So let's look for the common terms. Like terms 4x minus 3x and again we have minus 3x. These are the like terms with x there. So now let's work out on this. So 4 minus 3 minus 3. How do we do that? 4 minus 3 minus 3. So 4 is the same. Now these two numbers have the same sign minus 3 minus 3. So that will become minus 6. 
So 4 minus 6. Signs are different. Put the sign at the bigger number and subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. So after working out all the x terms, we have got minus 2x. Now let's look at the y term. So here we have plus 5y plus 9y. Both are plus. So we can add plus 5 plus 9 is 14 plus 14y. So what have we done here? We have uh, tried to remove these brackets and we have worked out everything inside and we got minus 2x plus 14y. Now before you remove the bracket, you need to see the sign before that we have a minus sign. So let's put a minus sign before this. So this will be minus of all this. Okay, so that means the signs inside will change. So minus 2x will now become plus 2x and plus 14y will become minus 14y. So now we have removed all this. So after 3x, we have to write this. So let's do that. So now we have 3x plus 2x minus 14y. Work on the like terms. 3x plus 2x. 3x plus 2x is 5x. And then we have minus 14y. So 5x minus 14y is our final answer. Question 10. So here we have 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 3 plus 3a into 2a. So what are the different operations we have? Division, addition and multiplication. According to Bodmus, division should be done first, isn't it? So first let's work on 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 3. So 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 3. This is division. So it becomes 8 to the power of 5 minus 3 which is 8 to the power of 2. So let's write that here, 8 to the power of 2. Then let's write everything else, plus 3a into 2a. Now what do we have here? We have addition and multiplication. According to Bodmus, multiplication has to be done next. That means we have to do this. So let's write what is already there. That is a square plus. Now let's multiply 3a into 2a. First multiply the numbers 3 into 2. 3 twos are 6. a into a is a square. So now we have like terms. a square plus 6a square. So this is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. So we have 7a square. So this is our answer. Question 11. So here if you look carefully we have division brackets and multiplication. So according to Bodmus, brackets has to be done first, isn't it? So we have to work out what is inside this. So let's begin by writing x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 2 into y to the power of 2. So if you have this, x to the power of 2 into y to the power of 2. Now since both are unlike terms, it will simply be x square y square. So that will be x square y square square into y to the power of 3. So now what do we have here? We have division and multiplication. According to Bodmus, division has to be done. So this is what we are going to do now. So let's write that down here. So x to the power of 5 divided by x square y square. So this will be x to the power of 5 minus 2 x to the power of 3 by y square y square will remain down okay so now what have we done we have worked this out and we got x cubed by y square so that let's write it here so here we have x cubed by y square then the, write the remaining part of the question into y to the power of 3 so now we're going to work this whole thing out and get the answer so here we have into y to the power of 3, isn't it? So I can write it all like this. x to the power of 3 into y to the power of 3 by y square. So now x cube will remain as it is. Into y to the power of 3 minus 2. Because it's division. y to the power of 3 divided by y to the power of 2 will become y to the power of 3 minus 2 which is 1. So y to the power of 1 y to the power of 1 or simply y. So x cubed into y will be x cubed y. So this is our answer. Question 12. So here what are the operations? We have brackets, 
multiplication here, isn't it? So first we have to remove the brackets. We should do what is inside the brackets here. So to remove these brackets, work out what is inside. Now that is x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 2, which is x to the power of 5 minus 2 x to the power of 3. So this is x to the power of 3. And then we continue with into y square into y cubed. Now this is multiplication. All are multiplication, so we can do it. But here let's work out the like terms. So this will be x cubed into y to the power of 2 into y to the power of 3 is y to the power of 5 because in multiplication we add the powers. So here the answer will be x to the power of 3 y to the power of 5 because we have multiplied those. So this is our final answer. Question 13. Here we have brackets, division, multiplication and brackets again. So according to Bordner's we need to work out Brackets first, that is, we need to work out this and this. So, if you look carefully here, you can see that these are unlike terms. So, there's nothing to simplify inside. So, when we remove the brackets, we can write these as it is. So, that will be y cubed minus 5y square. The next thing is divided by y. So, let's put it this way, divided by y into, again, y minus 1. There's nothing to change, so it remains as y minus 1. We'll keep the brackets there. Now look at this part. This is division. So let's work out this division here. So this is y to the power of 3 minus 5y square divided by y. You know how we do division. We take each term. That is y cubed. We divide it by the divisor. Take the next one minus 5y square and divide it by the divisor. So now let's do this division. So this will be y to the power of 3 minus 1 which is y to the power of 2 minus 5 y to the power of 2 minus 1, which is minus 5 y to the power of 1. So what do we have here? y square minus 5y. Let's write it here. So this is y square minus 5y into y minus 1. So here we have two binomials and we are going to multiply. And we know how to multiply binomials. We take the first term of this and multiply it with the whole of the second binomial. We take the second term minus 5y and multiply it with the whole of the second binomial. And here we know how to multiply. First, we multiply this into the first term. So y square into y is y to the power of 3. Then we multiply y square into minus 1. That will be minus y square. Then we go to the next one minus 5y into y. The sign is minus 5, y into y is y square. Then minus 5y into minus 1. Minus into minus is plus 5y into 1 is 5y. So now here we have all these terms. Let's look for the like terms. And the like terms are these two. So now let's write everything else as it is. So here we have y cube. Then here we have minus 1y square minus 5y square. Minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6y square plus 5y. So this is our final answer. What is it? y cube minus 6y square plus 5y. We will stop with that for now children. In our next video we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.